Hello, welcome to this week's Trader Joe's haul and it is being shot, as you can tell, in a different location this week, still in my house, but wanted to just change it up a little bit. And I'm also going to feature a lot of alcohol in this video. Summer is here pretty much. So I thought there was a lot of fun things to show you that have come in and we have 4th of July coming up. So start getting those ideas rolling around in your mind for hosting parties, get togethers, whatnot. And so I thought I would share with you guys a lot of fun things and we're gonna be trying them all in the taste test. Plus, we've got lots of fun foods that I am revisiting, and we're gonna be trying um, some really fun comparisons in this week's taste test as well. And there's only a couple new items this week, but that doesn't mean that I didn't put lots of effort in finding some things that I haven't showed in a long time that I wanted to share with you guys. So if you're ready for this week's haul, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to find out all the new items every week at Trader Joe's, all of the seasonal. Oh, and there's a lot of seasonal this week too that came back in. And of course, all the items that I buy every week for my family. So let's get into this week's Trader Joe's haul. So I'm here filming in our new buffet that we just had built in December. My dad put it all up, but we were waiting on one last piece, which is the countertops, and they're here, so I'm going to utilize the space and use it today for the haul. So let's start right here with the cauliflower pizza crust. These are gluten-free. These come in the fresh section, so they're refrigerated. They're usually by like the pizza dough, at least at my store they are. Um, but if you're looking for them, they are refrigerated. There's two crusts in here, and they are perfect if you're wanting to have pizza that doesn't include all the bread and things like that. Tim and I are trying to be a little bit more mindful about our food choices, so we picked these up. We've had them before. They're really tasty. They're just a little bit more flexible than, say, a regular pizza on bread, but that's fine. You know, just cut the pieces smaller or bite-sized pieces, whatever, but these are great. Also got these sweet pull-apart Aloha rolls for my son, Benson. We usually put these in the rotation like once a month. He likes sandwiches made with this bread. It's really soft and delicious. I also got the Impossible Chicken Nuggets. These are frozen at Trader Joe's. Now, I like the Costco tenders. However, these are convenient to grab if I am not making a Costco run. And I just think that the Costco ones have like a better texture and everyone in my family really enjoys them. But these are great in a pinch, so I grabbed a bag of these. Also, a brand new product that just came in, the Season Waffle Cut Fries. So these are, like I said, seasoned and frozen. Let me just bring it over here for you. Let's look at the back. So here you go. Here's the nutrition facts. If I can make it focus, there we go and the ingredient list as well. These are vegan, very exciting. And here we have the instructions. So they do have the air fryer instructions. That's how we will be cooking them for the taste test this week. And that is it. This is the package. It does, does shows um, pepper, salt, and ketchup, which is cute. So yeah, these are now at Trader Joe's. Very exciting if you like waffle fries. Next, we have the sour cream and onion rings. So these I showed last last week, um, but Tim loved them and did, he just realized how low calorie these are. So you can see on the back, the whole bag is 340 calories. So they're great if you wanna just snack mindlessly and then you know before you know it, you eat the whole bag. That's how Tim and I are um, when we're sitting in front of the TV, which is like such a bad habit. But if you switch out your snacks to things like this, you can just take a breather, it's no, no big deal. So that's why I grabbed these, he really likes them, and so do I, they're delicious. Um, the organic coleslaw kit is back as well. This is a seasonal item, this is only around during the summertime, so if you've been waiting for this, it is now back. It has the green, the red cabbage, carrots, and a creamy sweet dressing. I've tried this before, I feel like a lot of people say this is great on fish tacos, so if you're looking for something for tacos, this might be a good option for you. Also, the 
another seasonal product is back. The Green Goddess Gouda is back. This one is so delicious. It has um, zesty parsley, basil, and garlic. I remember getting it last year and us absolutely loving it. Such a flavorful and delicious cheese. So if you want to try something new that has lots of flavor, this is also makes a really good grilled cheese too. You can go grab this now at Trader Joe's because it is here. Then... You won't believe it, but I ran out of my vegetable radiatory pasta. I had this in the, I always have this in my pantry, and the other night I went to make some pasta, and lo and behold, I couldn't believe it. My mom would be so disappointed. Um, I didn't have a backup on my backup. I always have like three backups just in case, and I guess I ran out. So I definitely had to pick up at least two bags, and I'll probably have to pick up two more on my next trip. I'm not trying to take the shelf out, but um, this is this is a staple at Trader Joe's. It comes in every night, so I like stocking up on this and having it around. It's our favorite pasta of all time. Now, speaking of pasta, so I thought we would do a little fun uh, ravioli taste test comparison this week since there's not too many new items, um, and we're gonna be trying lots of booze, little spoiler alert. I think we need some carbs in our life for this taste test. So we're gonna be trying these four. Well, I'll be trying the three. Tim will try four, because there's the lobster in here. But let's go through the, the ravioli. So the, we got the ricotta and lemon zest ravioli. I've had this in the past, maybe like two years ago, and I remember it being extremely lemony. Um, so if you like lemon, this, this would probably be a perfect one for you. Then we've got the goat cheese and sun-dried tomato ravioli. I don't recall trying this. I know I have, I just don't remember. So it's perfect refresher for me and for you guys if you wanna see how it tastes. And then the cacio e pepe ravioli. This one is delicious. I love this one. It tastes so good. It's um, very peppery and it just has a great flavor. So I know I'm going to enjoy this one. And then the lobster ravioli. I used to buy this all the time for Tim. I'm talking weekly. He loved this. He burned himself out on it and then decided he wanted to take a break. I haven't bought it in about maybe like two years now. So may, um, hopefully when he tries this again, he likes it again. Um, but he used to just absolutely love it. So these are going to be in the taste test if you want to see how they are. Make sure to check out tomorrow's video. Now, also in the taste test, we're going to be trying lots of booze. So we've got the Topo Chico Ranch Water. I did get an opportunity to try this at my store, at my work. And let me just say... This is a dangerous drink. First of all, I love Topo Chico. I think it's delicious, just the plain sparkling water. I have some in my fridge right now as I speak. This tastes so much like real, like just water that it tricks you and there's 4.7% alcohol, 100 calories, it's gluten free. You got everything in here. So it says it has agave and real lime juice, spiked sparkling water with minerals added for taste. Delicious, and I don't think Tim's tried it, so he is gonna give it a go as well, but this is definitely what I'm most excited for in the tasting for alcohol, because I know how much I love this. Now, up here, we've got the um, seasonal cold-pressed watermelon juices back. This is one of Benson and Tim's favorite juices. It's so delicious, it's literally just watermelon juice and um, lemon juice, so that's it. Delicious and very refreshing for summer. Now to two new beers that just arrived, literally, I think last night. They are the Pizza Port Brewing Co. beers. Now I know a lot of you guys won't be getting these beers, but it does give you an opportunity to remember that your Trader Joe's might have local beer offerings as well. So these are local to us. I believe they're in San Diego. Uh, Carlsbad, yeah. So. That's why we have these beers and you might not have them at your store, but you will have local beers, so check them out. Give them a chance. So we got the Summer Oasis India Pale Ale and the Ocean Air Hazy IPA. One of my friends was saying that this one was really good. She said it was almost dangerous because I believe it's 6.7%. Yeah, 6.7% alcohol, which is extremely high for a beer. And then we've got on this side, what's this one? 7.2, oh my gosh. So if you wanna see us try these, you know we're not IPA, big IPA fans, but we've been coming around a little bit because we've been getting used to it. So these two are gonna be definitely tried. And this new wine. So a lot of people have tried this. This is the French Fizz Leblanc 
product of France, Light and Crispy 2021. And it has this cool little reusable bottle stopper. That's honestly like why most people are buying it because you can reuse this if you want to fill it with water and put it in your fridge. It's perfect um, or like put olive oil in it or whatever. It's such a cute bottle, but I've heard that this one, there's also a rosé. I've heard that this one is the better of the two. The rosé, a lot of people weren't a big fan on, so I think that that's why I grabbed this one. I wanted to try it and let you know how it is, but if you want to try the rosé, that one is also available. Looks the exact same bottle and everything. It's just pink, and it has a little top as well, so you can check that out if that sounds interesting to you. Of course, how to get more sparkling pineapple juice beverage. One of you is watching and hasn't seen it yet, so here you go for the fourth week in a row. <laughs> and then we finally got the bullet old fashioned in. So Tim's been waiting for this one. He's so excited. He loves old fashions. And so this one, he is more than happy to try in the taste test. I'm going to say again, I'm not a bourbon whiskey drinker, so I know that if I tried it, I wouldn't like it. So I'm not even going to attempt but Tim is more than happy to take that on and he is excited for this one. So I'm glad I got my hands on it. They restocked the other one too, the Manhattan I believe, and so they're both on the shelf now. Next up we've got the spicy kosher dill pickles. These are a seasonal product as well. These came in for the first time I believe last year and they are spicy. Um, very spicy. In fact, I remember gifting these to my dad. He loves spicy stuff and he likes pickles. So I thought, why not? Um, and these are kosher, by the way. So if you are looking for that, that is a kosher product, spicy kosher dill pickles. Now on to some pizza sauce. So I usually show you guys the refrigerated one because that one is the best. It's refrigerated, it's fresh. But I will say this pizza sauce in a jar comes comes close second because it is not sweet. I cannot tell you how many pizza sauces I've tried that are shelf stable and they taste like sugar and it's really gross. It's I don't like it at all. So I like Trader Joe's brand just because they it's not a sweet sauce. It tastes like a savory tomato sauce and that's what I want on my pizza. So I thought it would be fun to show you guys that there is another option at Trader Joe's. It's not just the refrigerated one and this is a little more affordable as well. So you can try it out if you haven't yet. And then the corn chowder is also back. This is another seasonal soup that we get during the summertime. It does have potatoes, onion, celery, carrots, and uncured bacon pieces. So if you're um, not a meat eater like myself, you won't be enjoying this. But my husband really enjoyed it last year. Um, if you can find the taste test, he tried it before and he really liked it. So that is the soup that is available now during the summertime. And let's get to some fruit. So I got some more raspberries, I got more blueberries, and then these are brand new, and they're probably an opportunity buy, so they're not gonna be around forever. But these are the baby cucumbers, and oh my gosh, look at how cute they are. I love cucumbers, you all know that. And so I didn't even get my Persians this time, I just got these little baby ones, because they're so, darn cute. These are like little dippers. You can dip them into hummus. You can dip in, dip them into salad dressing or just eat them as is to put them in a salad, whatever. They're just so dang cute. I had to get some and show you. And then moving on. So I grabbed some tamales. I haven't showed these in a while, but I thought it would be fun to revisit these as well. They are the chicken and chili tamales. And then we've also got the uh, chili and cheese tamales. And these are both gluten free and they're found in the fresh section. So they're refrigerated, they're not the frozen ones. These are more expensive than the ones in the frozen section. Some people like the frozen ones better, to be quite honest. Um, I personally feel like the fresh ones taste a little bit better and they're much thicker. Like they, they have some girth to them. You see, they're much bigger than the frozen ones. So I feel like you get your money's worth if you're comparing um, the size of the, the tamales. The frozen ones are so much smaller and they're obviously not fresh. So if you were looking for some something fun to make over the weekend, maybe this would be a good option. Usually there's also a pork version, but those have been MIA for quite some time. So Right now what is available to us are the chili cheese for vegetarians and the chicken chili for those that want to have chicken tamales. And then the last couple things I grabbed, we got some more of the olives. 
And then the last thing is a brand new chocolate bar. So this is an organic milk chocolate truffle bar. It has a dark chocolate center. This looks amazing. I'm so excited to try this. So one of my subscribers wants me to point out all the new products that have the U. So I'm doing that for you. I remembered. Um, and this one is, yeah, organic, which is exciting. And then we have the nutrition facts on the back here. 190 calories for a third of the bar. And there's the rest of it. Here's the ingredient list for you as well. And there's a lot of things that it contains um, for allergens, so just be aware of that. So there you go. We'll be trying this in the taste test as well, so stay tuned. So this is this week's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it in the little new location that we have, and we'll see you over in the taste test. So what did you all think about the new location? Do we like it? Do we not? I can do more hauls in here. It's just a lot narrower, so I have to spread things out a little bit more, but that's okay. Um, I'm so excited for this week's taste test, and I can't wait to share with you the tropical outfits we're all gonna be wearing this week. You know how we always like to match, so that's really fun. And of course, all the alcohol, so I think we're gonna do like half the taste test with Benson, and then the other half with just Tim and I. I know you guys, some of you guys really like when it's just Tim and I. Um, the vibes are totally different, so we might do that, so that way we can give you guys a little bit of both. And yeah, having said that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell notification on, and I will see you in my next video tomorrow. Bye.